my faithful viewers. I I know this is a random video. I was preparing to do some more crafting and stuff, as you can see by my mess. Um, and I was reading an article uh, about this. I wouldn't even call it a controversy. This thing's been dragging on for months. And we all need to get our heads out of our behinds and just act right as a nation, as a whole. Seriously. This thing, this uh, shenanigans been going on way too long. Oh, we uh, it shouldn't have even been a blip on the screen. Uh, but it's just more scapegoating to hate others. Uh, it's never, you notice, the people above never strike. They never hit the people below because the people above are too busy succeeding to mess with the people below. However, the, the people below and the lower incomes, for some reason, we just can't stop fighting each other. We just love that because we hate them for not doing stuff and they hate us. So we just, everyone hates hates, you know. What does this have to do with uh, the... What I'm talking about, sit back, relax, I'll tell you. Um, the well-to-do, or the people with the money, I don't know, somehow ignited a powder keg over beer but that's going on for months. And I don't know about you, but hear me out. First off, Anheuser Bush, all they're there to do is sell beer. They don't care what you look like. They don't care what you smell like. They don't care how you do your clothes or hair or where you live. They just want to sell beer. And if they have to put a picture of an elephant balancing uh, on his trunk, on a ball, and they're going to do that, okay? They're going to do that. Now, let me just clarify a few things. <laughs> Maybe I have to. <laughs> uh, this, we'll, we'll just say this controversy that started back in April. Okay. Well, it wasn't in April. Actually, it was in March. March was Women's Month. Uh, well, supposedly Women's Month, which is a whole other controversy that I'm not going to talk about. But uh, March was supposed to be Women's Month and uh, supposed to glorify, or not glorify, but uplift all women from all walks of life. There were five women that were celebrated that month. We're only hearing about one. I'm sure you all know who that one is, especially if you like beer. Name the other four. Name the other four women that were, you know, honored that month. No, oh, what's this one? Okay, so, question two. <laughs> this is a good question. How many cases of beer was it sold, was sold with the person's face on it? Here's a hint. Suppose the TikToker. Yeah. How many cases? Okay. Take your time. Let's, let's think about this. How many cases of beer uh, the, was sold with that person's face on it? Okay. Don't know? I got the answer for you. You want the answer? I know the answer. None. Not a single case. You know why? Come on. I know you know why. Tell me why not a single case with the person's famous face on it. Why? And if you know why, put it in the comments below. I want to know if you know. <laughs> I want to know. Okay. Make it a a promotional can. Only one was printed. 
or one six pack was printed. It was mailed to the influencer so that when they opened the beer and poured it in the glass, they have the can to show. It was a promotional sign. That's it. It was never on the market. Okay, with that said. <laughs> And just like the they uh, exalted women or they honored women in the month of March, uh, come Flag Day, 4th of July, companies will put flags on their products, whether it's beer or cheese or a pillow or whatnot. Uh, June 14th, Flag Day. Uh, July 4th, of course, you know, Memorial Day. All those, all those holidays, you notice that the companies, they put flags on everything. Because it's advertising. It gets you clicking. It's like, oh, clickbait, you know, oh, something shiny. And it gets us going as a pack. And right now, culture wars seem to be popular. Because I guarantee you that come October, we're going to see pink ribbons everywhere. Yeah. So, these companies are not our allies. I don't know if you know this or not, but these companies are not our allies. They are there to sell us a product. We are consumers to them. That is all we will ever be. Whether you're part of the Alphabet Mafia or you're a a heterosexual uh, male, female, whatever. Wherever on the spectrum you fall, you're a consumer. And these companies are selling products. They're just trying to get people to buy shit. They're not trying to start a war. They're just trying to get people to buy shit. Now, with that said and done, because everyone's acting a fool and just going on in this culture war that we've all been sucked into, but I know we've been sucked into for a few brave cowboys out there that's uh, not afraid to drink what they like. You know, but yeah, uh, they're not our allies. They're not here to, to cater to us. <laughs> they're just there to sell products. Now, because of this, because of this shenanigans, that we've been fighting this culture war with, the distribution centers are gonna start closing because nobody's buying it. Costco, Costco, um, they just canceled the order because nobody's buying it. Well, and then we're not doing this and we don't like, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, a bunch of people that's calling other people snowflakes, they are acting like a bunch of snowflakes. Isn't this a pot calling the kettle black? This reminds me of Macbeth. Brother, thou protest too much. Oh, don't get me started with these culture wars. Our class ain't worth the shit. We can't take care of our old people. We can't feed our young people. Our roads are going nuts. Our schools are falling apart. But you know what? Who you're sleeping with is way more important than, oh dear, God, get a grip. Get a grip. It's real simple. Okay, it's real simple. I'm going to put everything in perspective for you. Okay, when you go to a restaurant, let's say Subway or uh, Burger King or somewhere, okay, and you like, uh, whether it's, let's say you like um, a ranch dressing or mayonnaise or whatever on your sandwich and you can't stand mustard. You know, get something you hate, something you like. Well, the person in front of you, they ordered that one thing that you hate and they put it on their sandwich. Are you gonna say, hey, you can't order that because I don't like it. And you shouldn't order because it's bad and it's terrible. You're not gonna tell them that because this sandwich has nothing to do with your ass. Get your mind off your own sandwich. You know, it's the same thing. Get your mind off these culture wars. We're fighting each other over culture wars. We are ruining people's lives over culture wars. But yet, the ones that have the money that can get whatever they want, they're living high in the hog, laughing at us down here in the gravel pit, 
and I actually have to make a freaking living. What the hell is wrong with us people? I used to do these political talks years ago, and I'm really thinking about getting back into this because, oh boy, do I have some words. Uh, it's, who cares? Who cares? Who cares who's sleeping you with whom? It's like, who's cheating? I don't care who's cheating on who. I don't care who's sleeping with whom. I don't care where you are anymore. You know, we've got bigger fish to fry, and it, none of it has to do with beer. None of that has to do with beer. But because Costco canceled their order with Bud Light, they are not going to carry Bud Light anymore. Uh, people not putting Bud Lights in the in the bars anymore. People not buying Bud Lights for their ho in their homes anymore for personal consumption. The distribution centers are going out. And I think, I think, who works for Jeanette Nicole? She works for Pepsi. Isn't that a distribution center? Please let me know in the comments below. Is that a distribution center? Is she drives like a delivery truck and delivers Pepsi products? What happened if all of a sudden nobody ordered, um, I don't know, uh, one of the drinks, one of the drinks goes out. That means they're not, Pepsi, not the company, the distribution center is not making enough money. That means they're not going to need as many trucks. That means drivers are going to lose. Uh, people that load the trucks are going to be let go. I mean, you are talking about, and then that's just the breadwinners. That's just the breadwinners in that household. Because it's not just that one person. There may be a whole family depending on that income. So you get one person working at a distribution center. They lose their job. And it could be them plus however many dependents they have in their household. Uh, average household has 2.3 kids, mother and father. It's around four to five people in the household. Every person that loses their job at the beer distribution center you're looking at five plus people uh, per dismissal. Uh, how many people work at a distribution center? Times that by five. You might, but you'll be really close to what the, the devastation can be. I mean, I'm not, I'm not angry at Anheuser-Busch. I'm not. You know, it's not personal, just business. They're not an ally. I realize that. They are not my ally. They are here. They are a company. They offer a product. I can take that product or I could pass on that product. I don't drink alcohol, so I'm going to pass on the product. Their advertising means nothing to me. You know, but I don't think it's fair that they get punished because of one advertisement and it was a sponsored it was a sponsored video how many people here they get a product from a company uh you know it's like here just make a video of you using this so you showing the product demonstrating the product talking about the product that's what she did she opened the product, she poured the product, she used it, and she gave her opinion on it. And that was the end of the video. And now this poor woman had to flee the country. She's hiding out in Peru. Because that's the only place that she feels safe at. That they won't give her death threats. For beer? That has nothing to do with you? Are these people insane? Oh my god, I've been here 15 minutes. Um, if you've been here this long, I want you to put a pen or pencil emoji in the chat. Uh, I'm going to be doing this from now on to see how many people actually <laughs> follow these. Because if I get good review on these rants, I might bring them back. Let me know if you want to hear more of my opinions. But anyway, guys. Stop harping on each other. If you know someone that may need to hear this video, I don't know what I'm going to name it. I don't know what I'm going to put in it. I don't know how I'm going to hashtag it. 
I don't know. I'm dropping it here in a few minutes, so you're going to get this in live time. Um, they're not our allies. They're just trying to sell products. Get a grip. We got bigger fish to fry. So, in the meantime, we're going to hope for the best. We're going to prepare for the worst. But I guarantee you, kids, we're all going to end up somewhere in the middle. And you have a good weekend. Bye.